Ladies and gentlemen, I made a video entitled Solo Hype Night, but it's smooth. And uh, you can say I got quite a few comments asking about my render and recording settings. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over that quickly and effectively as I know you guys like it. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. Alrighty, so we are now on my desktop with my beautiful background of my future girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say that out loud. That was just a thought. Man, this girl is beautiful, uh, but nevertheless, we're gonna get right on into it. I use OBS to record as I personally enjoy that more than shadow play, as I have seen inconsistencies in FPS with shadow play. And uh, to get right on into it, you just wanna go to your settings. And for the record, I use OBS Studio. So head on over to settings and on general, nothing really special about my general compared to yours. These are the basics and the defaults you get when downloading OBS. Over on stream, nothing too crazy. When it comes to output, you want to go to recording and then put your output mode on advanced. I cannot do this as I am currently recording. I use MP4 as my recording format. I use one audio track if you do wish to have two audio tracks for your microphone and your in-game sound. Be sure to do so. I use the new NVENC NVIDIA encoder. This is because this gives me the best performance when playing. I use 80,000 KBPS and CBR, while my preset is on quality and my profile is on high. You can pause the video and go ahead and copy this if you want to. Really easy, really basic settings, and they are really, really good. If your recording starts lagging, turn down your bitrate tremendously as this will drastically improve your recording. I use this as my PC is relatively good. We'll get back to that a little later in the video. On audio, I use my desktop audio on default. I use my sample rate on 44.1 KHC. Should probably turn that up to 48, but it works just fine for me as it is. I don't use a microphone over on OBS as I record my sound with Sony Vegas Pro 17. Over on video, this is where it gets very interesting. You want to go down here to fractional FPS value. And when you're here, you want to type in your numerator to 240 and your denominator. I probably bashed that so bad, I'm gonna get disliked, but that's all right, to one. This will make your recording 240 FPS and extremely smooth to look at. It is incredibly important that you keep watching this video to make the 240 FPS work, because if you turn off your resample, it will be 60 FPS and probably relatively choppy. So be sure to watch the rest of the video, and at least to where I show my Sony Vegas Pro settings, as that is very, very important to make this as smooth as possible. On the downscale filter, I use Bolinear, fastest but blurry if scaling. This is what I have personally found to be best. I use my resolution on 1920x1080 on both. If your recording is laggy, turn that down to 1280x720. Your quality will still be really good and it will just make the recording much smoother and you will not have FPS consistencies when looking at the video. Over on hotkeys, nothing special, and the same goes for advanced. I use color space 601 instead of 612, and that is all personal preference. When you're done there, click OK, and you're pretty much done, and you have amazing recording settings. You also want to be sure to record with game capture, as that is much, much better. Once that's done, you want to go ahead and open a video file. These are my NVIDIA Shadowplay files and will not be in 240 FPS. However, uh, this is just to preview my Sony Vegas Pro 17 render settings. So when I'm in Sony Vegas Pro 17, I like to go up here and make sure that my frame rate is on 60. And now a lot of you guys will probably ask, well, you say you record your videos in 240 FPS. Why don't you render them in 240 FPS? Well, you can't really render a video in 240 FPS to make it smooth and to make it look good on YouTube, especially from my personal experience. It might be a way to do so, but I'm not familiar with any as of yet. So turn that down to 60 and on resample mode, this is where it's very, very important to pay attention. Turn your resample mode on to smart resample and click apply. You can copy the rest of the settings. Then you want to go up to the top left corner, click on file, render as, and then you want to scroll down until you find Windows Media Video V11. Click on this one, 8 megabits HD 1080 30p video. Once that's selected, head on over to customize template, go to video. And once you're here, you do not want to mess with either of these two, but on image size, you want to go ahead and click custom and type in 2560 x 1440. And on your pixel aspect ratio, you want to go ahead and click on one instead of 1.333. 
Go ahead and go to frame rate, make sure that's set to 59.94 and on video smoothness, jab that up to 100. On bitrate, you want to go ahead and click in 1000M and type the M as well. Go over to project and on video rendering quality, make sure that's on best, click on OK and favorite your template. Once that's done, you want to title your video something that you will remember when you're going to upload your video. So for instance, smash the like button. Let's get 1000 likes and render. So since the YouTube algorithm has been loving me lately, we got to make this video 10 minutes as well. And I thought what better way to do it than to show you guys some examples of what you can expect when using these render and recording settings. So with that said, roll the clips and enjoy the rest of the video and see if you personally like this or not. It's kind of like a love hate thing. Some people love it, some hate it, but I personally love it. So have a look at this 240 FPS ultra smooth footage. And until next time, guys, take care. Mara det vi öppnar lite för kalla. My heart rages around like an ocean in my head Because there are so many things that I left unsaid Alright boys, there you guys have some in-game examples, I hope this video helped, if it did be sure to drop a like, let's see if we can reach 1000 likes on this video, that would truly mean a lot, 
And with that said, everyone, I'll see you all in my very next video. And until then, please go on to have a wonderful, wonderful day, week, month, and year. Goodbye.